your triads up and down your neck. You know your major triads, your minor triads. You might even know your dominant seventh triads. What do you do with them? How do you use them creatively in a song? Uh, that's what this video is about, and I'm going to use Amazing Grace to demonstrate. All right, let's go. So I've been asked, I know my triads up and down the neck. What do I do now? So how do you apply your knowledge of these triads to music? So I use them many different ways, depending on what circumstance I'm in. Sometimes I'm being the lead guitar player and I'll use them to actually do solos, uh, finding my spot on the neck using those triads. Uh, sometimes I use them in the background as a, uh, as a second guitar player, uh, maybe behind a vocalist. If they're singing, sometimes behind them, I'll be... Right, just little nice things happening in the, in the background. Uh, but today we're gonna be talking about chord melodies and taking those triads, placing the melody note at the top note of that triad, using the different inversions of each triad. We're gonna use the song Amazing Grace in the key of G. Now I'm gonna play through it and show you the tab right now, and then we'll come back and discuss what's going on. <laughs> So let's break this down a little bit. Um, I'll put the whole page at the end for you to, uh, to look at, but let's, let's break this down a little bit. We start with the D chord, with the D on the top note. Amaze, to a G chord, same exact shape, right? There's our D chord to our G chord. If you don't already know these shapes, Go back and explore uh, my lesson on major triads and minor triads. Um, but this is D, G. Now, if I was really playing this for real, I might just use this shape right here and get my B note off of this triad. But it was kind of fun to go and then go up to the 12th fret vibrato on there. Right. So that's on the 12th fret G chord with the B on top. And then a D chord. How sweet. The C chord. And then the C chord inversion fifth on the 5th fret. G chord. Then back to the D chord. Then we get this A chord. And then I'm going to use the third, second, and first string for this D chord. Instead of going all the way up here, which if you were on acoustic guitar, you probably wouldn't be able to reach up there, but you go. And then that gets us our nice little, our walk up in sixth. Okay, and I've talked about that before, but. Right? That's super sweet. And then you're gonna go. This is a G chord on the first, second, and third string. And I'm just gonna pick back between those melody notes. 12, 10, 12, G chord. G, C. So I'm going fifth fret to the eighth fret G seven eight. Sorry, eight nine ten. Back to the G D, and now I get my E minor chord. 
right? So that's my E minor shaped like an A minor chord, but I'm up on the eighth fret, ninth fret, and ninth fret. And then E minor again, 12, I'm sorry, 14, 12, 12 on the fourth, third, and second string. Now you get a D6 chord. So that's a D shape. It's a D shape. But I'm adding my pinky to get the melody note that's not in the chord. So this is one of those uh, circumstances where the melody note is not in the major triad. And then we go right to the melody note uh, in the triad. And then we're going to go to a C chord. And then I'm gonna do my G descending intervals. And then I'm gonna bring in my lower notes. Right, get that low G. And then hopefully hit those harmonics on the fifth fret. All right, I'm gonna play through the whole arrangement uh, so you can see where my fingers are without me talking through it. All right. Spend time with this and focus on using those triads to play your melodies. That's one way that I like to use triads. So, so many ways that knowing these triads helps you know where you are, all, you, where you are on your fretboard. So, um, try it on your own. Choose a melody uh, that you like, a song that you really like. Uh, work out what the chords are work out how to play that melody using those chords. It's a really, really great exercise to do. Um, it took me about uh, 15 minutes to come up with this arrangement. It took me a much longer time to tab it out on the computer, but um, it did not take long to come up. Oh, here's the amazing grace I've known for years. Um, and uh, usually I play it. <laughs> I don't use all these triads to do it. Um, so have a great week. I'll see you soon. And like and subscribe. Bye.